Hello, and welcome back to headquarters. Today we're going to be solving a problem, so let's go. All right, so in my last video, well, it wasn't actually my last video, but in one of my other videos, um, the one I did about admin controls and cheats, basically, and commands for the game, um, I heard a lot of people in the comments saying how, hey, I can't do that. Uh, my, my world is saying that I don't have permissions and things like that. And so I dig a little digging because for me it didn't happen. And so in order for me to figure it out, I had to kind of go to one of my buddies who was having a similar problem. And he told me, yeah, I can't do it. Uh, my, every time I try to punch in a command, God mode or something like that, it just tells me, yeah, you don't have permission to do this. Try again later, you know, whatever. And so I was like, well, that's strange. And so I did some digging. I got a whole into the uh, Survive the Nights Discord and I talked to the community manager. Um, and anyway, I, I talked to some people and I figured out what the problem was and so uh, I was on his computer and I, I did all this but I'm gonna do this on mine so I can show you guys for the video but it's actually really simple and I'll show you some other cool stuff too but if you go up here to solo so let's say you have a world going like you've already clicked play you've already loaded up a world you've typed in you know backslash God to get your God mode going and it says you don't have permission to do this what you need to do and it's so easy and I th actually thought it was hard but it's not difficult at all it's really easy but go down here to browse click browse this little window will pop up right here, config and database. All you have to do is super simple, so pay attention. Click config, go to server users, and this will pop up a bunch of numbers, comma, number, comma, false, false, comma, agent G. So yours won't say agent G, it should say your Steam name. Uh, this is just my Steam name. And so what you need to do, the only thing you need to be concerned about right here at all is this number right here that says two. For you, it should say three. If you're having a problem doing your admin commands, it will say three, okay? All you need to do is go right here, backspace, punch in two, mine is already two, but I'll show you. All, that's it. Punch in two, click exit. It will ask if you wanna save, just like this. Click save, that's it, you're done. And now you can exit all the way out of this, load into your game, and bam, you'll be able to use admin controls and do everything I showed you in that video. However, I'm gonna show you one more cool trick this is kind of the best part about this is so if you notice in host when you host a server which again I need to make a whole video on how to do this it's a little bit more complicated but anyway um, if you can tell like right here where it says loot spawn or player nutrition or any of these things loot spawn here you can set zero is no loot you know three is default or if you crank it all the way up to nine that's overload loot and it just loots everywhere I mean, it's all over the place same thing you can set your hordes to really hard or easy or even disable your hordes but that's in so or in host you can't do that in solo right well i'm going to show you guys how you do it in solo how to affect and change all those numbers it's a little bit more complicated but it's actually it's not hard once you know how to do it so again we're going back down here to browse click into browse go to config like we were before but we want to go right here to server config solo click that this is all the configuration options what we just saw this is just the actual text version of it and so these are the codes that are in the game you go down and as you can see right here these are all those things daylight cycle time persistence uh, loot spawn same stuff and what you do if you go up here to these these are like the kind of showing you what it is what your options are and if you go loot spawn can be between zero and nine okay and that shows right here you know global loot spawn kind of what the spawns are so if you go down here you can change that and i have mine set to nine just because i was checking stuff but so i have mine set to not uh to nine loot spawn rate nine you can also change the vehicle spawn rate so there's cars all over the place you can change the zombie amounts per horde you can change the horde difficulty and when you first click into this they will all be set to the default what they normally would be and so your normal horde difficulty is just two that's the default um, but you can crank that up to three to where it's super hard or you can drop it down to zero where there's no hordes and so that's just maybe you're recording videos maybe you're just wanting to goof around with friends or you know whatever you can come in here and edit those things and change what you want to do you can also change the server passwords and things like that which you should it's solo so you should not have to do that um but so just beware of what you change because if you come in here and accidentally delete you know off the 45 now you have four minute daylight cycles and days are just going to roll by so be be careful what you push because these are kind of sensitive numbers but this kind of helps hopefully will help you guys uh see what you know what you need to do to change the game make the game a little bit more fun so and again it'll ask you to save and then you just back out 
click play and it will load up and you'll be good to go. And so, yeah, that's kind of all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.